So today we're going to talk about how foreigners can protect their appreciated U.S. real estate investments from U.S. estate tax and FERPTA. Foreigners invest in U.S. real estate for a multitude of reasons. Some buy property for personal use, while others invest in rental real estate or purely for speculative purposes. Unfortunately, most foreign investors purchase before getting advice and wind up investing in their own personal names. Doing so carries with it substantial risk. The first of which is asset protection. Owning real estate in your personal name in the U.S. can carry liability. If something happens, you're personally liable and will be personally sued, which is a real risk in a litigious society like the U.S. Owning property through a company offers limited liability protection, thereby protecting your personal assets in the event of a lawsuit. The second risk is U.S. estate taxes. What a lot of people don't realize when they invest in, in U.S. real estate as a foreigner is that foreigners are subject to U.S. estate tax on their U.S. assets at rates up to 40%, and they only get an exclusion of $60,000. So that means if you own U.S. real estate worth a million dollars, $940,000 is gonna be subject to U.S. estate tax if you own it in your personal name. Transferring the property to a U.S. company is not going to save you because the shares in that U.S. company are also going to be viewed as U.S. property. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow me on LinkedIn. Links below. The easiest solution is to transfer the property to a foreign corporation because the shares of a foreign corporation are not considered U.S. property for U.S. estate tax purposes. The problem is, if the U.S. real estate has appreciated since you purchased it and you transfer it into a foreign corporation, there's going to be a gain recognition event and you're going to have to pay U.S. capital gains tax on that appreciation and there's going to be FERPTA withholding, which is the Foreign Investment Real Property Tax Act, which I'm gonna get into next. FERPTA, again, stands for the Foreign Investment in Real Property Tax Act. And what FERPTA is, is FERPTA is a withholding tax to guarantee that foreign investors pay their U.S. taxes when they dispose of their U.S. real estate interests. And so the way this works is, let's say, for example, you have a property, you go to sell it, the buyer is required to withhold, depending on the value of the property, 10% of the sales proceeds and pay that to the IRS as a guarantee that the foreigner is going to file their tax return and pay any tax due, right? So if that withholding was an overpayment of tax, you'll get a refund. If it was an underpayment, you will owe. And one of the problems with this is that the buyer is responsible for doing this withholding and paying it to the IRS. And a lot of buyers don't want to deal with this because they're scared of liability. Long story short, they don't want to deal with it, which can also shrink the buyer pool for foreign investors in U.S. real estate that want to dispose of their U.S. real estate. Now, I've done a lot of videos on this, and probably the best one that I'd recommend that you watch is Foreigners Investing in USA Real Estate and What is FERPTA. I'll put a link down in the description so you can check that out and get more detailed information about the U.S. estate taxes and FERPTA. The purpose of this video is to talk about how you can protect your appreciated U.S. real estate if you're a foreigner. Now, the best solution for a foreigner who owns appreciated U.S. real estate in their own name is by transferring the property to a foreign corporation utilizing what's known as the 897i election. Using the 897i election, a foreigner with appreciated U.S. property can transfer that appreciated U.S. real estate to a foreign corporation without recognizing gain and will not be subject to FERPTA on any future disposition. You also completely avoid the U.S. estate tax because the shares of your foreign corporation are not considered U.S. property for U.S. estate tax purposes. The result, no U.S. estate taxes and you get asset protection. The one thing you have to keep in mind with 897i though is it's only available to foreign corporations and countries that have a qualifying tax treaty with the U.S. and the shareholders have to meet certain criteria. If you own appreciated U.S. real estate and are interested in using the 897i election, we can help you determine if you qualify. We can also help you with making the election and actually transferring the property into the foreign corporation. Just contact us to set up consultation. And to learn more about structuring your U.S. real estate investments, check out our Structuring U.S. Real Estate Investments for Foreigners guide. The link is down in the description. Thank you.